Lesson 35, Installing Crown Molding and Trim, Elegance in Details. Welcome to an enlightening exploration of the world of crown molding and trim installation, a realm where attention to detail brings sophistication and charm to indoor spaces. Part one, the significance of crown molding and trim, crown molding and trim serve as architectural accents that enrich interiors with a touch of elegance and refinement. Part two, personal experience, the transformation of plain spaces. Allow me to transport you to a personal on-the-job experience that illuminated the transformative nature of crown molding and trim. A client's plain and uninspiring rooms yearned for a touch of character that would enhance their aesthetic appeal. By meticulously measuring, cutting, and installing crown molding and trim, we transformed the spaces into captivating chambers that radiated charm. Part three. Types of crown molding and trim crown molding. Crown molding adorns the junction between walls and ceilings. Baseboards, baseboards conceal the joint between walls and floors. Part four, crown molding and trim installation techniques. Measuring and planning. Measure the dimensions accurately and plan the placement of crown molding or trim. Cutting and mitering. Cut the molding or trim pieces at precise angles for seamless joints. Use a miter saw for accurate cuts. Part five, personal on the job challenge, the vaulted ceiling crown. Imagine a challenge involving installing crown molding on a vaulted ceiling. My experience involved carefully calculating angles and measurements to ensure a flawless fit on sloped surfaces. From creating custom miter joints to tackling uneven ceiling slopes, the challenge lay in achieving perfection in intricate installations. Part six, step-by-step -step crown molding and trim installation. Preparation, clear the workspace and gather the necessary tools and materials. Measure the walls or ceilings accurately for precise cuts. Cutting and mitering, set the miter saw to the appropriate angle for corner cuts. Cut the molding or trim pieces according to the measurements. Part seven, crown molding and trim finishing touches. Seamless joints. Align and secure the molding or trim pieces for seamless joints. Filling and sanding. Fill any gaps with wood filler and sand the surfaces. In my journey as a handyman, I've navigated diverse crown molding and trim challenges, from working with irregular wall surfaces to addressing unique architectural features. In conclusion, installing crown molding and trim is the art of infusing interiors with an element of finesse that echoes in every corner and edge by mastering techniques and combining precision with patience you're embracing the role of an interior artisan whom shapes spaces with the elegance of precision carpentry